So he literally PayPal'd me 50 bucks and told me to go buy his strike pack so that I could make this video for y'all. So here we are, boys. Strike pack series two. Touch pads working. Paddles are working. So that's awesome, boys. Run up, on up, dig up, and Yo, what up y'all? Doff here. And by popular demand, I've got the Strike Pack Series 2. I got the box around here somewhere. Boom. Strike Pack Series 2. So yeah, Strike Pack's put out a new Strike Pack. It seems pretty much identical. Um, I don't know, I'd have to compare it to my other one, which I've got right here. Let's see. That looks like the exact same form form shape and everything one of the only differences is it now lets you plug in your own uh, aux device so there's basically a cutout right there or you can plug in your own auxiliary device right there where it used to be like you had to plug it into the strike pack and it would cause issues so I think that's a good thing I think that's gonna work better but boys the best method for making this work on your PC is still either using the SCP toolkit or using Steam. Now let me just throw this out there. I tried getting to work with the SCP toolkit and it does work just the way that we've done it before, except the remapping of these middle three buttons, so the remapping of the touchpad, your options, and your share button doesn't work on the Series 2 yet. I will keep you guys updated for when strike pack releases a better mod central software that like applies to the series too but right now you can't change those three buttons with your mod central the problem with that is that if you edit with touchpad then you're gonna have to start using the share button nobody wants to do that it's a major issue if people need their touchpad so that's why i'm recommending in this video the steam method and it's so easy you don't even have to download anything you just open up steam plug up your controller you're going to go to Steam right here and click these arrows in the top right to open big picture mode. Then you're going to have your controller in Steam. See, it should be working immediately in Steam like this. If it's not, just unplug, plug back in. If it's still not working, restart your PC, open up Steam, unplug, plug back in. It will be active in this big picture mode. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings controller settings, make sure PlayStation configuration support is checked, and make sure that you see your controller down there. There's my PS4 controller, PlayStation 4 controller. It's doubled up because it's reading the strike pack and the controller. You can do a little identify and it'll make it rumble, or it should. Oh, I think I have rumble turned off, so it's not gonna rumble. But a nice try. So the next thing you're gonna do is, guys, you're gonna go to your library and then go to your Fortnite game. Now this is the Fortnite client Win64 shipping. So we're gonna go over again how to get that game into your file, because that's the one you want. So we're just gonna exit big picture real quick. You're gonna be in your main Steam right here. So this is just your regular Steam like home. And you're gonna go to library, add game in the bottom left, add a non-Steam game. Then you're gonna click browse. And you're gonna go right here to program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and then just the first one, Win64 shipping, open. And then it's gonna check it on this add a game, Fortnite client, Win64 shipping, and you're just gonna hit add selected programs. I've already got mine added, so I'm gonna hit cancel. So we've got add selected programs. This music's getting a little, a little loud, we're gonna turn it down a little bit. So now that you've added your selected programs, now you can open your big picture mode. You're going to go to your library. You're going to click on the Fortnite game. You're going to go right here to manage shortcut. Then you're going to go to controller options right there and get rid of this click. So this box will be clicked, the allow desktop configuration and launcher. You're going to want that not to be clicked. And that, that's going to be important. It's going to be like, it's going to make it simpler on how you're going to set up your controller. Now you're going to do controller configuration. So that last thing you picked, it just means that you want there to be specific configurations for each game. So now in your Fortnite game, you're going to go to controller configuration and you're going to get this. You're going to go to browse configs. You're going to go to uh, templates and you're going to see gamepad. All right.
right? And that's the one you're going to want to apply. So you're going to apply gamepad. Oh yeah. So this is the gamepad with strike pack that you want to use. So the only difference with this versus the regular gamepad layout is that up here, these two, you need to click on the trackpad click. You need to make it a start press. You need to make sure the binding is select right there. So you can go in there and make it select. And then you need to do the exact same thing for the other button. So the single button, you need to make it select, start press. Okay, and that's the only way that you're gonna force Steam into remapping to make your um, touchpad work for like in Fortnite. So now as long as you have the touchpad set up to do like um, whatever you need, it should work great. So now we're gonna open up Fortnite and make sure that that's all working great. So let's... All right, y'all, we've got Fortnite loaded up and boom. The controller is working. So we're gonna just go into Battle Royale and we're just gonna check out the settings and see what I've got it set up as. We're gonna hop in creative, make sure everything works, make sure touchpad edit works. These skins are insane, holy moly. All right, so it looks like it's reading this as an Xbox controller which is interesting. I don't want it to do that. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna change that. We're gonna mess with some things. We're gonna see what we get. Might not even have to change it, but like just for simplicity's sake. Another way of testing to see if your controller is working. Let's go to get gamepad viewer. That's what it looks like. Make sure you click on like whatever player your controller is. For me, it's player two. And you'll see right there, the controller is working. And even my paddles are working. So that's key. You can use gamepad viewer to check your controller really easily. I would highly recommend. So it feels like my paddles aren't working, but we'll see uh, what's up with that in a minute. Let's go to settings. All right, my right paddle works, but other stuff doesn't, but I'm sure that's for a reason. Oh, it's because I don't even have jump set up. Yeah, so I've got just other reasons as to why mine's being weird. But all we care about right here is it does edit work, and it does. So I'm hitting the back of my touchpad, and it's editing. And I'm confirming with my paddle. So there you go, y'all. It's literally as easy as it's ever been, other than you've got to make that minor adjustment because you can no longer use the mod central tool from Strike Pack to remap your touchpad. But um, I recommend just using Steam, guys. There's a lot of customization that you can do in Steam. If you guys ever want like a one-on-one -on -one lesson on like all the things you can do in Steam and you feel like you need some more insight, I'm definitely down to help people out. You know, small donations to the stream and I'll help you guys so much and like all the Steam kind of capabilities that you'd want to, want to mess with. So basically guys, funny enough, the reason that I did this is because Shaw from Chronic started, uh, plays on Strike Pack 2, also does touchpad edit, and he messaged me the other day and needed the Series 2 to work, needed the touchpad to work on the Series 2. And I told him, you know, like I kind of had some ideas for him, but I didn't have a Series 2, so there weren't a lot of things I could test. So he literally PayPal'd me 50 bucks and told me to go buy his Strike Pack so that I could make this video for y'all. So here we are, boys. Strike Pack Series 2. Touchpad's working. Paddles are working. So that's awesome, boys. Y'all let me know if you have any more questions, and good luck out there. Keep dominating, guys. Peace out. Use code DOF.